Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since the last video, but in today's episode, we're out on this sunny Sunday afternoon for a coffee and a cake. And we've come to a little coffee shop called So Good at Yurts. And the thing with this place is there is actually a little yurt which has been converted into like a little seating area where you can have a coffee, panini, that kind of thing. Well, they do some amazing cakes too. So I actually came here with my dad recently and really enjoyed it. So I thought, do you know what? It's work tomorrow. I'm sure I can squeeze in another cake and a coffee before we have to go back to the grind. So I've got the Bonneville parked up just over there. The weather is improving. This is around three o'clock now, so it really should be getting a bit cooler, but uh, it's quite nice. So I'll take you guys along with me for the ride. We'll see what nice sights we can see. I'm also testing out a new GoPro mount on the helmet here. This is actually one that I ordered from the States from a, a website called Chin Mounts, and it's just 3M sticky tape. So uh, let's hope that works out all right and uh, doesn't fall off while we're filming. So yeah, without any further delay, guys, let's get going. So guys, I'll give you a little quick tour around to show you what's going on. So seating area just back there. Then the food area is just behind me. This is the, the yurt. <laughs> and then this is uh, Drive T100. There she is. on the road. So we're trying out a new GoPro mount today. I ordered it from the States actually. Uh, I don't know why but there's not much accessories available for the uh, showy Glamster helmet but uh, I found a website called Chin Mounts based in the USA and they 3D print um, mounts for all different types of helmets. So rather than get a generic mount uh, with 3M like sticky pad, you know, like backed, uh, they basically make one custom to the profile of the front of the helmet. So that was pretty cool. So I had to order that. It's been on back order for a couple of weeks. Finally got it. So I've attached my GoPro to the chin mount and yeah just looking forward to making a few cool videos now and seeing uh seeing how it turns out so it's a little bit tidier as well because i don't have to wear the chest strap anymore that used to be across here uh, it feels a bit more relaxing if i'm honest while i'm riding and i've also set up a microphone in the, the back of my backpack with a windsock and i've played around with the settings so that hopefully we can capture some real crisp exhaust sounds because when this bike gets fired up guys it sounds amazing so i'm going to try and get that through on mic really we're just having a play around today try out this new stuff hopefully enjoy this ride as you can see it's quite a nice sunny afternoon and yeah let's uh let's open her up when we get chance we're on a 50 zone right now uh speed cameras everywhere <laughs> in Nottinghamshire which is a bit of a bummer but uh, I'll take the bike around some of my favourite back roads um, we're about 40 minutes away from home so it'll be a nice ride back so the next village we're going to is a place called Gringley on the Hill and it's actually <laughs> where I filmed my first three month review video on my channel if you haven't seen it please do go check it out it's, uh, it's been received quite well and if you're looking at getting a t100 i give you my thoughts and sort of 
three month review of owning a T100, a used T100 I should say, uh, but you know, new used, it's all the same right, but um, yeah, okay guys, I'll quit talking here and let's, let's get going. here there we go so I hope everyone's having a lovely weekend hope you've had time to get out on your bike so yeah this is Gringley on the hill lovely little village uh, get it around Take a left down here. Really nice, and as you can see, the day is just turning out into a lovely afternoon. Oh, listen to that bike. Oh, wow. Does it get any better? So, yeah, main thing today, guys, is we're here to test out this new equipment the helmet mount as well as the oh sounds so good the helmet mount as well as the exhaust microphone in my backpack so if you're liking the sound effects and the camera is looking good please leave me a comment below let me know what you think we're just always trying to level up guys and uh, bit by bit I think we're getting there so let's Let's go back because that was an awesome stretch. Right, let's go. Clear road. It may sound like we're going really quick, but we're actually only doing like 50 miles per hour. This bike just really likes it when you open up the throttle. And that's probably the beauty of having a 900cc bike, which is around 56 horsepower in this bike, is because you can really kind of give it some without it being too crazy. And, uh, oh, there's cool, there's Grim Reaper look. <laughs> This is a, <laughs> it's like a horror house. It's a pretty cool place to get a thumbnail though. Should you even get a thumbnail? Would that be crazy? It's a bit spooky. Oh, this looks like a cool place to get a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, that house looks crazy. It was probably a right nice house at one point. Should we see if we can do it? Let's do it. All right. Let's see if I can do this real quick because I don't trust drivers. They'll sort of be in fairyland while I'm messing around with the tripod. Okay, guys, <laughs> we got the thumbnail. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. I think that actually could be a really nice house. I presume it belongs to this farmer here. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Definitely haunted, 100%. And I am not brave enough to take a look around, thank you. <laughs> Heck nah. Nah, dog. Get a few strange looks from people driving past as well. I'm not sure if, like, they think, why is this guy pulled up at the side of the road? But, uh, if you see something cool, you gotta pull over and take a look, right? These rock straps, by the way, guys. If I see that. This rock strap here, wow, fantastic. I've just been using one to carry this tripod. And actually, I'll leave a bit of a link below for this tripod. New addition to the uh, filming setup. It's a KNF concept. Just got it off Amazon, little cheapo thing. 
But uh, yes, does the trick really well. Um, really pleased with it. So uh, yeah, sturdy enough on there, I think. Okay, so let's put the phone back away. Right. <laughs> I've actually driven past this place a couple of times now. <laughs> Just been wanting to uh, get a uh, snapshot. I finally got one. Cool. All right. Let's climb back on the bike and uh, get going. Well, guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed coming along for this little ride out today. The sun is starting to get pretty low, so uh, best be turning in, I think. We're about a couple of minutes away from home now, so... Uh, I think this is a good time to sign off. Let me know in the comments what you think about all the audio and the video footage today. Uh, like I say, try to level it up, but yeah, I guess won't know until I get back. But uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, and I will see you all in the next one.